Hey everybody, I'm Rachel from Queen Vacuum. I'm gonna warn you that since I am broadcasting from home, um, I'm obviously doing some work and making YouTube videos, but my husband is also working and he is drilling things and sawing things and you'll hear the garage door open and close like that. <laughs> As you can see, I got dressed up for you today um, because what I wanna talk about is how to make cleaning more glamorous. Don't laugh. Okay. I don't know whoever said cleaning wasn't glamorous, but maybe it's just because we don't put enough effort into it. The key to cleaning success is to make it suck less. Number one, dressing the part. Okay, this is kind of a fantasy. I really don't do this all the time. In my mind, I pretend I'm a 50s housewife with a cute house dress and a frilly apron. Doesn't always happen, but if it makes you feel good, why not do it? For me today, I have an assortment of aprons that I can choose from, one for every mood. This one's kind of springy. This one's kind of fallish right now. This is my go-to neutral. Hey, if sweatpants float your boat, absolutely go right ahead for it. Be comfortable, of course, because um, you're going to be bending and stretching, and who knows, you might even work up a sweat. But it really can't hurt to say put on a cute little apron or something like that, something that brightens your mood. It also protects your clothes, but it kind of makes you feel good. Maybe put in some pearls, if nothing else, tie your hair up in a cute way just to get it out of your face uh, and just to make yourself feel a little bit more put together. The other thing that I like to do is turn on some music. Sometimes I like to put on something soothing, like spa music, uh, just something that maybe either soothes you if you need to kind of calm your nerves that day. Other times I like to kind of rock out just something motivating, kind of burn some extra calories while you're at it. Take your mind off the fact that you're doing work. Number two on my list of how to make cleaning more fun and glamorous is to use aromatherapeutic cleaning products. This by Caldrea. I have some stuff by Mrs. Myers Clean Day. They are products that uh, I've just found to work really, really well. I've tried a lot of different ones over the years. Some are greener than others. These really um, are quite green. They're still chemicals, but they're not the kind that are gonna like rot your skin off or make your lungs bleed. So right now what I'm gonna talk about is um, my countertop spray. I have some by Myers and some by Caldrea. They smell amazing, and it's not with synthetic fragrances. They're made with essential oils. So not only do they smell really good, and they literally do affect your mood, so pick a fragrance that just you happen to like. Uh, the Caldrea products, I find, tend to be a little stronger um, because they utilize more actual citrus oils. This one is sea salt neroli. They have mandarin, vetiver, but they'll all have some citrus notes in there and the citrus oils tend to do a really, really good job at breaking down grease and oils. Uh, and they also counteract negative odors like you might experience in the kitchen, like garlic and onions and fish and whatever. This one is rose water driftwood. Uh, it's very natural, but it still has a kind of a fine fragrance smell to it. So it's just a little bit more luxurious. And they do make a variety of different cleaning products for different things, such as um, countertops and floors, stainless steel, bathroom, also glass. And they also have like some soy candles and, um, and hand soap and stuff like that. This here is an all-purpose cleaner, which is very similar in formula to the countertop. And what you can do is save those, um, those spray bottles, take some of this, add a little in, and then fill the rest with water, and voila, now you have a more economical uh, refill of your, of your spray. Ultimately, while you're doing it, and when you're done, everything smells wonderful! And you're not gagging and choking and feeling lightheaded because if you do when you're cleaning, something is really wrong. All right, you should you know, not just take care of your home, but you shouldn't be damaging your body while you're cleaning because being sick and coughing is not glamorous. Sometimes you can use household products like baking soda. There's a huge movement now using household stuff like this that's completely safe, just neutral, non-toxic, but really can be a powerhouse for cleaning. You'll see things in the back of the box that tell you how you can add it to your wash to brighten your clothes. Um, you may have used it in your bath to just soak and relax and soften your skin, but it does make a great little paste, just with either water sometimes or even a little splash of an all-purpose cleaner. Maybe even uh, take your toothbrush and you can scrub grout the awful little 
scary spots that accumulate in the shower. Baking soda is mildly abrasive, so it does a great job of getting up grime without scratching. Ah, good tools. This here is one of my little go-to cleaning baskets. Huh. How'd that get in there? You do need to remember to keep hydrated. Hydrated. Take two. <laughs> I suggest making yourself a little handy dandy um, caddy, whether it be a cute little bucket or a basket or maybe even a rolling cart. Something to keep the tools that, um, that are your favorite uh, ready to go at all times. You may be able to make a basket for each room. Perhaps there's one that's with all the bathroom cleaning essentials and maybe one that's for the kitchen. Um, or maybe it's just all in one because a lot of these things can be used in multiple places. As far as the basket goes, don't forget to throw in a pair of handy dandy pretty, preferably, gloves to keep your um, hands and nails and arms protected from, um, from your cleaners. Glamorous ladies have healthy, happy hands. Even too much of natural cleaners can strip and dry our hands over time. So do not be afraid to glove up. You can pick some up in the dollar store or maybe for a few bucks more, you can get a glamorous kind like this. And again, just make you feel a little bit better. So again, um, my top picks are um, brands like Caldrea and Mrs. Myers for natural cleaner. Also, while you're maybe out at the dollar store, um, pick up some microfiber cleaning rags. Sometimes they're specialized for regular surfaces, sometimes for glass, but make sure you have a handful of these, and that way you can also um, throw them in the wash to cut down on costs and keep them clean. The right tools are super important, so having extra toothbrushes, scrubby brushes, things like that, really take a lot of the work and misery out of out of your cleaning job and don't overlook things like natural products like baking soda vinegar is another great one too um and even lemons pinterest is a great place to find out um all diff different kind of recipes for for natural cleaning stuff uh check out our pinterest page for that as, as well oh, the vacuum cleaner do not forget to let us help you pick out a really good vacuum cleaner. The health and the, the clean atmosphere of your home is more than just the floor. It's the floor, the carpets, the different types of carpets, the above the floor, and all the other soft surfaces like your couches, mattresses, uh, drapes, blinds, um, ceiling fans, and other things that accumulate dust that not only are yucky, but can make some people very sick. Uh, so utilize your vacuum, um, a really good one, like by Miele, for instance, that'll do that job and make it very easy for you to switch back and forth from different surface to different surface. But it's also absolutely critical that the machine is bagged so that it has higher filtration up front, that your maintenance on the vacuum is way, way, way less. It's a lot less work than having to empty out a dirt bin every time you use it and also hand wash that out or hand wash those dirty um, allergen filled filters all the time. It's very um, unsanitary. It can be very unhealthful for people who do suffer from allergies genuinely. So um, keep that in mind because playing with mud pies is not glamorous. So stick with the bag. Um, and it also keeps the filtration at the maximum level. Even if you don't have allergies, you don't want to go through all the work of sucking up all the dirt and dust bunnies and then spit a good portion of it back out into the house. So the filtration is key to making it easier and making it more healthful and a lot less maintenance and work in the long run. We do have two convenient locations where we sell vacuums and uh, repair vacuums and all kinds of stuff like that. That is honestly your best way to, um, to allow us to help you to come into the store talk with us face to face about what you need. You can come try the products, you can see the whole line, um, especially of all the Miele products, but that's for local customers. But this message is for all of you who, who value the information that we provide here on YouTube, but are nowhere near us. So how do we help you? Well, we've teamed up with Miele themselves. It's a service that Miele actually provides to help stores like us to help you. If you go to our website, queenvacuum.com, right there on the top of the home page, or if you go to um, one of the sales pages and product pages, you'll see a red button, and it says Miele 
by now. If you're still in New Jersey, but um, you're not nearby, or if your schedule doesn't quite jive with ours, and you just can't make it in when we're open, you can still use that meal a buy now button from our website, click through to the link, make sure it says you're shopping with Queen Vacuum at the top, and yeah, you can actually support our business too and get the meal of products that, um, that you desire to delivered right to your home. I think that's it. Well, I thank you guys for stopping by to um, let me share with you my favorite tips for making cleaning more glamorous and, of course, more fun. What do you say we summarize what we learned today? How to make cleaning more glamorous. Number one, dress the part with cute protective accessories, then set the mood with music. Number two, use natural aromatherapeutic cleaning products like Caldrea and Mrs. Myers. Number three, Invest in good tools, especially a great vacuum. Keep them organized and handy. Number four, visit Queen Vacuum in person or visit queenvacuum.com and use the meal of buy now button to learn and shop. We do what we can to make cleaning suck less. Now, I'll put all these links at the bottom of the page here, but don't forget to check out queenvacuum.com to learn more about us and our stores and the stuff we offer and the stuff that we do. Um, selling vacuums and cleaning products like Caldrea and Myers, and also repairing your vacuums and sewing machines and some small appliances. You can visit our Pinterest page, uh, board, whatever you call that. Uh, that's Queen Vacuum, where we have a board about uh, vacuums and also sewing and also cleaning tips. You can um, go to our Facebook page just to keep up on what's what, um, get quick updates and stuff, and uh, duh, subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. It's Queen Vac and it's ever expanding and improving so um, you'll enjoy and soaking up whatever information we can uh, provide for you. So thank you so much for visiting with us today guys and uh, we do hope to see you again soon. <laughs> Bye. This is us. Awesome.